This is Peugeot's entry-level sedan, the 2015 Peugeot 301. It's a modern car and it looks sleek without looking too sleek, which is a good thing when you think about it. You really don't want your bosses starting to wonder if they're paying you too much for the kind of car you're driving. The overall exterior of the 301 from the signature grille to the headlight and the tail light uh, is better than your typical budget car look. And Peugeot has been able to deliver this design while keeping the price tag within the budget range. So that's a good thing. The 301 comes with uh, four variants. You have the 1.2 liter access version, which comes with manual transmission. You have the 1.6 liter automatic versions, which have various levels of trim. In there, you have the active variant, the Allure Prestige and the Allure Luxury. Right, so this is the first time I'm going to be driving a Peugeot on the streets. Don't get me wrong, um, I was at the assembly plant a couple of months back and I did drive this very model, the 301, right off the factory floor if I may add. But this is the first time since about 2002 that I'm actually going to be driving a Peugeot product on the road. Um, I've been driven many, many times, you know, in the 407, the 307, the 206 Cabriolet, but I've actually not driven one since then. So you can imagine how happy this moment is for me, because this is the brand I grew up on. In fact, this is the brand we all grew up on. You know, we always all had a Peugeot in the house. We always had a, an auntie, or an uncle, a family friend with a Peugeot. I'm talking about the great cars, the the 504, the SL, the, the GR, the 2000, the amazing Peugeot 505 Evolution. God, I love that car when it came out. It was amazing. I thought it was a spaceship. I'm actually quite happy that Peugeot is finally capturing our hearts again by giving us cars we love to drive. Now, the 301's interior is no nonsense, but it still has an attitude. My favorite item in here is the steering wheel. I mean, look at that. You know, it's sporty, it's chunky. It's the kind of thing that you'll find on higher value cars, kind of like with the Roadsters. Um, the glossy accents on the dash and in some trim levels on the doors also gives it that look of a higher end vehicle. On the 301, or rather, in the 301, you get radio and MP3 CD as standard. You get iPod connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity, and automatic AC controls as options. Behind here, there's tons of space. Do you know how when you sit in the back of a budget car, or rather, when you see people sit in the back of a budget car and they look funny? You know, they sometimes look like they're in a, I better pass my neighbor competition. Nope, problem solved in the 301. There's so much legroom in here. You can sit in the back and, you know, look like an Orgati, your heart content. Now, the boot of the 301 is so big, you can actually sleep in it. Don't believe me? Let me show you something. Uh, Samo. Samo. Now, Samo is an associate producer on our show, and he has graciously agreed to show us how big the boot of the 301 is. Um, actually, um, <laughs> do you agree to do this and waive any liability just in case? Uh, Good man. I think that's a yes. <laughs> All right, Samo, get in it. Oh, hang on. One second. One thing. Don't worry. We thought of everything. There you okay. go. Get in there. Wow. Well, chop, chop. <laughs> There you go. Feels like a Roman Palo, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we have a budget car that not only looks good, but also doubles as a self-contained bedroom. Now, let's drive it. So the 
301 does handle pretty well on the road. You know, throw it around corners and around roundabouts, which we have a lot in Lagos. I must say though, this automatic does feel a bit, just slightly sluggish at the lower RPMs. So you really have to pump the gas for you to get some performance out of it. However, once you smash your feet on the... It's like a different engine. It's like, what is that? Wow, where did that come from? Is it a 301? Yes, it is. It is Porsche's budget entry car and it's performing really well on the road. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to try my hands on the manual because when you think about it, nothing really beats crunching gears in the manual. And that's what Porsche has always been known for. If ride comfort is your thing, lots of leg room and plenty of boot space to, well, pack lots of luggage into, then the 301 is a solid entry. Take a look at it. Now it's time for me to get some friends and see what they think riding along with me in this car. Tunde, driving around for a while, first question. What do you think? First thoughts? Um, I think the car is comfortable. Okay. I like the fact that I can stretch my legs. You know, that's, that's one thing I look out for in cars. Tell me, what's your first impressions of the 301? It's such a smooth ride. Like, it really is a really smooth ride. What are you doing? I'm Snapchatting you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smooth ride. What do you think about the interior design, the space? Um, very spacey, I have to say, because I've got about long, it, yeah. yeah, I've got long legs. Would, I would consider this for like an everyday car in Lagos. Okay. You know, you know okay. what they say about Peugeot cars, they're you know, made for Nigerian roads. Fantastic. Yes, it yeah. certainly is. It's, no. it's, it's, it's rugged enough to, to knock around Nigerian roads. Actually, it's a really advanced version. <laughs> it's better than the one my friends used <laughs> That to is the second time I'm hearing that, <laughs> you know, today. This is quite advanced. It's so slick and nice. I like when cars are slick and smooth. This, okay. this does it for me. This is slick and smooth at the same time. Okay. And I really like black interiors. So this is all black. And also I can charge my phone while we're on the <laughs> Yes, you so know, you Snapchat on the go. So you can do all your Snapchat and selfies. Selfies. Yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, as you're descending the bridge. Yay. <laughs> when we're driving, I thought about it now. Imagine going for a shoot and I have all my equipment. I saw the boat, the trunk is really big. Have all my equipment in there. Do you know I fit in the cameras, the, the, the tripods, <laughs> and everything. You know, exactly. You know, I fit so. in the <laughs> They really want people to start buying their cars again, not just government officials, not just civil servants. You know, they, mm. Pojo really wants people, people to, to look at the car and think, okay, I really want that. I, I, I'll tell you about the the choices I, I have to buy a car. So. I mean, like I said, for a basic everyday car, you can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you can. It's I awesome. think he just did the perfect sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Stay tuned. One, one, one thing, one thing I, I really can't wrap my head around is the horn. That that I cannot see. Yeah, that horn sounds like it. Yeah, yeah it's like again, a... I didn't actually pay attention. I like it. What's you wrong do? With the horn? Yes. It's very invasive. Yes. It's, yes. Well, invasive even for you in the car, you know. <laughs> It's I mean that sound. That sound should be for out for you know the person you're trying to communicate to, not for me inside. I can put it? I can put this on a boat somewhere and it will still work well. Like exactly. get out of the way, sounds, ahoy! Yeah, ahoy exactly. Oh, you made it. Oh, like <laughs> like, like a train coming and then. Let's uh, be honest, Lagos drivers require this horn. I wonder yeah, how you drive.